Mark in Maryland. Such a merry land. Uh, I love it when you start taking apart some of the places that we live. A merry land, a, um, oh, I can't think of it, I think, uh, New York. Well, there must have been an old York. And turns out, in England, there's a place called York. So, anyway, I love all that stuff. Okay, uh, here we go. Mark writes to me and he says, In my listening room, I have bi-amped speakers. The amp is bolted to the speaker and I use balanced XLR cable with a shield. In one of your discussions, I heard you say that speaker cables should not be shielded because it pinches the sound. I live in an isolated area, so noise getting into my cables is not an issue. Should I be running balanced, unshielded cables from my preamp to these speakers? Okay, well, I have said, and will say it again, do not shield the speaker cables. I have done numerous experiments based on that, and yes, it does pinch the sound. One of the reasons it does that is because the levels of a speaker cable are about 30 times greater than the levels of the balanced or single-ended cable coming into the amplifier. And as those signals get bigger, uh, the sh in <clears throat> they start getting interference from the shield. This is the best way I can put it. Technically, that's not correct, so don't freak out. I know there's, it's funny. I have this, this small group of people who like to, I call them my detractors. <clears throat> they typically contribute not a whole lot. They like to, to bitch and moan. And Paul didn't say this right. <clears throat> and in general, I appreciate it because sometimes they'll actually say something that makes sense. And I love it. And when they just sit around and, eh, 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 and poke holes, okay, I, I hope it brings you joy. <laughs> I just eh, delete. Uh, how did I get off onto that? Oh, well, because technically that, that is incorrect. But I, it's, a, it's just a good way of thinking about it that when you have a cable, you know, two wires, the amount of field that is generated within those wires is completely dependent on the size of the signal. Bigger signals generate bigger fields. As you try and contain that field inside of a shield, audibly what we get is sort of a compressed, pinched sound. Now, when you're dealing with interconnects, as I said, those are 30 times lower, and I don't find that to be a problem. One of the reasons that high-end cables have kind of thick dielectric material, which is the material that doesn't conduct, it's the, like the outer thing, is, is to, to, to keep the inner ones away from that shield so you don't get that constricted sound. All that kind of makes sense because the signal is so low. And should you use an unshielded balanced or unbalanced cable? I, I don't know. I, first off, I'm an advocate of balanced. Let, let's, let's be clear. I don't care if you're on the moon. Balanced cables will always sound better than unbalanced cables. Just 99% of the time, okay? Everybody can point to an exception, but they will. And one of the reasons is because more than just interference from the outside, let's say you don't have any, like our friend here, Mark. You, what you're missing out on is the common mode rejection that this balanced signal is taking from the sending unit to the receiving unit, right? Remember, it'll only amplify the difference between the two signals. And if you have something in common from, say, the preamp, distortion, noise, that it is generating, when you put that through this common mode of rejection that you get at the amplifier input from using a balanced cable, you'll lower that distortion. You'll lower that noise. So, and you get 6 dB more output. There's a whole bunch of good reasons to do it. So stay with balanced. Shielded or not shielded, you could try it either way. I kind of prefer to use shielded if it's built right, just because, just because. <laughs> Sometimes we do things just cause. 
So that's just been my habit. But you could try it either way. I think it's easier than, than worrying ourselves over that to just do it because it works. Okay? All right. Thanks for the question. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.